Hi guys, welcome to Stacking the Shelf Showcase on a mailbox Monday for the weekend of March 14th or 19th. Sorry, I'm doing this post a couple days earlier. We just got back from vacation, so I thought I'd go ahead and just do this. Um, I know I didn't do one for the previous weekend, so not much going on here for books. Um, I did swap one book through Paperback Swap, and that's Assassin's Gambit by Amy Rabby. Rabby, I think that's how you do that. Um, this is the first book in the Hearts and Thrones series. It's supposed to be like a fantasy kind of thing, but it sounded good. So I don't know. I had it on my wish list for Paperback Swap for a long time. And yeah, I don't have much to say about that. Um, then I got two from the library. I got Chaos Choreography, which is the fourth book, I believe, in the Encrypted series by Shauna McGuire. One, two, actually it's the fifth book in the Encrypted series by Sean McGuire. Um, these have been really good. This book goes back to Verity Price. The last two books have been about her brother. Um, so anyways, excited to read that. Pretty much like a brand new copy from the library, so it's kind of fun. And then the last one I got from the library is Morning Star by Pierce Brown. This is the third book in the Red Rising trilogy. Kind of, well, very science fiction and like space opera type trilogy that has been very engaging and very good really action-packed um so i am excited to see how everything wraps up in the final book of that trilogy and that's pretty much it um you know i think i got an audiobook too but i'll go through that next week uh we have a couple more spring break days that we're spending at home here so hopefully i'll get a little bit of reading done probably not too much though because everybody's going to be at home which means that we'll be doing family stuff which is fun um, we just got back from a spring break trip and went down to Omaha, Nebraska, which is where my husband grew up. Uh, it was kind of fun. We went to the zoo. They do a really cool zoo there. Um, we went to the Strategic Air and Space Museum, which if you like planes and like NASA stuff was really neat. Um, went to visit my husband's old hometown, uh, which there wasn't a ton there, so it didn't take too long. He grew up in a really tiny town and there's not much left. In fact, the house he grew up in is gone. So anyways. Uh, went to Lincoln, Nebraska and saw the Cornhusker Stadium, which my son and husband were super excited about because they're a big Cornhuskers fan. Took a tour of the state capitol building, went to some state parks and did some hiking. Kind of just three days, it was kind of just a whole bunch of stuff that we did. Had a good time just not being at home and being somewhere else together. So, um, And the hotel we stayed in was really nice in downtown Omaha, so, so it was fun. Anyways, yeah. Got really warm when we were down there. It was like 75 and sunny one day. And then this morning when we woke up to drive back home, it was like 35 and not very nice. It's very windy and overcast now. Um, it kind of stayed windy the whole drive home, which was fun driving six hours like in the super windy wind. <laughs> so anyways, I hope if you guys are on spring break, you're having a good time. And I hope you got some great books and got to do some reading this week. And I will talk to you next week. All right. Bye.